wealth gained hastily will dwindle. Really, Solomon? Yeah, he says, yeah, I've been watching. He's also the richest man who ever lived. If you get it fast, if you, if you cut a corner, if you uh, get it wrongly, wisdom gained hastily, one translation says, and it's a good one, that word hastily is a bit complicated in the Hebrew. So how many people have by fraud in their, in their Bible? Right, that's a good translation. If you get it fast, if you get it falsely, it will dwindle. But whoever gathers little by little will increase it. So up or down on get rich quick schemes. All right, you might even get rich quick, but what's gonna happen? Between your fingers, slipping away, gone. Now what's really interesting to me is, you remember the chart that we had up there? Almost 30% of the 271 verses, 88 verses regarding money have nothing to do with how you spend it, if you uh, savor it, uh, what you do with it, how you use it. One third almost of all Bible instruction about money is this point. How did you get it? How did you get it? What did you do? How did that come to be in your possession? God is incredibly interested in how you got what you got. If you cut a corner, if you distorted what was true, if you hid something to sell something, if you took something that wasn't yours, if you dishonored, if you cheated your employees, if you took more than was your, rightly share, your rightful share, that's not honest, and it will dwindle quickly. Money that you get by cutting corners won't last. This is why gambling is wrong. I get so weary, weary of the legalistic people who are like, you know, I'm out playing golf with my buddies, and I'm like, I'll bet you a dollar I make that putt. He's like, I don't bet money. Really? Really? That's not what the Bible's saying. The reason why the Bible never really hardly mentions gambling except for casting lots for um, uh, Jesus' garments, maybe drawing straws. The biblical principle against gambling is you should never wager what you've gained as a way of getting more fast. That is wrong. Any get rich quick, I can cut the corner, I'll be back from Vegas in three days, watch me take a little and make it a lot. First of all, it wrongly values money because you think that somehow by having your pile go from this to this that your life will be increased, but a man's life does not consist of the abundance of things he possesses, Jesus says. Secondly, your getting ahead is putting someone else behind is the way that works, and that is unrighteous, all right? It's a get-rich-quick scheme, and in that sense, it's wrong. Uh, number one uh, example of this is uh, lottery tickets. Lottery tickets. Proverbs 13, 11 says that wealth gained hastily will dwindle. Uh, talk to this guy. Several months ago, he won a million dollars in Chicago, and then he was found, within a day or two, he was found dead. When they did the autopsy, he was found dead of sign. There's a murder investigation underway right now. And uh, then uh, there was uh, Evelyn Bayshore, $54 uh, million, 15 a year, she went broke. But check this, Billy Bob Harrell, $31 million, took 20 months till he was broke and committed suicide. And then this, William Post, 16.3 months. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle brother hired somebody to have him killed. And then, this guy's real famous, $315 million. He looks happy there. That must have been during the four years it took him to lose all of it. Solomon was right. Lose any sense that you can get there fast. It's interesting, people who have accomplished 
something, people who have acquired something, people who have built something. It's interesting how many people look at that and, and think, man, where, where's the secret trap door? How do you get there fast? It's interesting how often we underestimate uh, what it really took to accomplish something. Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Outliers, uh, um, very, very convincingly uh, establishes what he calls the principle of 10,000 hours. And he applies it to everything from Bill Gates to the Beatles and says, you never saw this person. You never saw the 10,000 hours they spent developing a skill that then got them to the place where you saw them. And, and how, how desperately we want to believe that there's some secret door to fast acquisition and increase. That's not honest, that's not right. He who gathers little by little will increase it. You say, well, that seems hard. Yes, it does.